Hey guys, Andy here, and I'm here to bring you all things mundane and makeup related. If that's your vibe, I'd love it if you would subscribe and be part of my little slice of the internet. And in today's video, I'm going to bring you all of my palettes that I think are the best palettes for the fall and spooky season. So if you want to see all of the palettes that, in my personal opinion, are best for that, let's go ahead and get on into it. So I have this in two separate piles, one for just fall palettes, what I think are just pretty fall color stories, and then a, pal a pile for spooky, what I think Halloween, because Halloween is in fall, but that is a very specific color story. So we're going to start with just fall. And these are in no particular order. These are just, and obviously this is a bigger stack. But for me, fall color story is like grungy greens, mustardy yellows, a rusty orange, a very burnt burgundy, that type, or like a dusty, like muted shades. To me, that's, that's fall. So this is new to me. I haven't even tried this on the eyes yet. This is the Beauty Vault Regal palette. I just got this in my Ipsy. But this screams fall to me. We've got more muted, but we've got the orange, the burgundy. So this screams fall. We have the Melt Bad Side Zodiac Earth Palette. Again, mustards. This is giving, like, the leaves changing color. And I love this. We have the dark green turning into the yellowy orange, into that red right before they fall off the tree. That's what this palette is giving me, and I feel like if I don't use this in September and October, travesty. Whole travesty. This is giving, like, because to me fall is September, October, November. So this is the Natasha Denona Ayana palette. This is my newest palette. And this is giving, like, November, the e very end of fall, turning into winter. That's what this is giving. Like, it's cool-toned, but it was still giving fall to me, but it was giving that, like, transition, fall into winter. Like, this is the only, like, really full neutral palette that I was just, like, for some reason, for me, this is giving fall. And maybe it's just because it's brand new in my collection and I was like, yes, I want that in my fall palettes. Then we have the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette, which, again, it's because of these mustardy yellows and we've got some burgundies. It's giving leaves changing. It's giving apple picking before you can't anymore. So... I'm going to make a pile for palettes that I really want to use before in the fall. Profusion Harvest. Like, the name is Harvest. Can you get more fall than this? We got the greens, the mustards, the oranges, the, like, burnt. Like, this shade. Ugh. Have to. Have to use that. We have the Estate Cosmetics Fall Edit. But see, like, the inside and uh, the plaid, the plaid gives fall. But this, if this had a mustard or, or like, a deep green, because this is also giving, like, Thanksgiving more than, which is still fall. Thanksgiving is fall, which is why, like, November is fall. But that's what it's giving. It's giving, like, mm, fall into winter vibes. Then we have the Wander Beauty Trailblazer palette, which it's these greens. These greens mixed with these like burgundy neutrals. Fall. Leaves changing. We have the Laura Geller Wildflower Wishes. Leaves changing. That is my whole fall vision is just leaves changing before they fall off the tree. Is this one I want to try? 
it's not necessarily like screaming to me. So I have to show you these back to back because I've, I made a video on this in the past where, cause these are dupes for each other. So we have ABH subculture, which like, look how fall that is. We even have the deepest dark, like fall, fall vibes. But this is the Makeup Revolution Enchanted Palette, which... How, how can I do this? Tell me. Those are not the same palette. I did a video on this before. The biggest difference is the Makeup Revolution has hardly any mattes. Like, the comparison shades... The Makeup Revolution, like, if it's a matte in the ABH shade, it's a satin shade in the Makeup Revolution. But I need to compare these again in the fall. Like, that that needs to be a thing. We have ColourPop Lust for Dusk. So this is, like, the most muted, like, desaturated leaves falling off the tree. Like, this is giving cool breeze like in October like I can just see like you're walking late at night well not late at night but like right before the street lights come on and there's a breeze and leaves are wisping it's a whole thing that has to be used because I haven't even used that yet we have the Ace Butte Oceanic can you see the vibes the vibes that has to be used and the Nomad Hudson Valley the vibes that has to be used. So I feel like all of these, if they are not used in fall, it is, it is a travesty. It is a problem. The rest of these, the rest of these, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too upset if I didn't use them. Like they're, it's fine. They're still good fall palettes, but I feel like they're fall transitioning into winter and I'm just, I'm not there yet. I am fall, fall ready. So let me grab my stack of spooky palettes. Now I have two like subcategories of spooky palettes. We have glam light themes because they have all their horror palettes because that's spooky. And then I have vibes. <laughs> And we'll get to the vibes. So we have the night, the Nightmare on Elm Street collabs. So this one is the Dream Master palette. And then we have the Freddy Krueger one, which is the green. Which obviously, these are spooky season because they're horror movies. Then we have the Friday the 13th Camp Crystal Lake palette. Which, again horror movie. Do we have any more horror? No. So now the rest of these are vibes and I hope you'll understand. Like you'll, you'll get it as we go. Like those were the horror movie ones that I have. Now we have vibes. So the unearthly night terror. This was their early, their summer, their Halloween and summer mystery box. Like look at it. There's a haunted house on the front. So even though the color story is not really spooky, it's got a haunted house on the front. So this is the color story. And that makes it that makes it for spooky season. That's it. That's the vibes. So I hope you understand that's where we're going with the vibes. Then we have the notoriously morbid. This is their weird vibes palette. So first of all, the packaging. It's giving butterfly effect. Does anybody else get that? But also, the inside, it's giving that desaturated... Like... My vibes that I'm going for. But the packaging was giving more Halloween spooky than just autumn. So... We have the Adept Cosmetics Heather Austin collab. To me, this is giving more spooky Halloween vibes just because of the duochromes, 
we do have the, you know, leaves changing mats, but the duochrome special shades are what's giving it the vibes. The vibes. Then we have my Lethal Cosmetics Custom Palette, which just like the vibes. The yellows, the purples. Which you'll understand this more when I show you the next palette, but like this is, here, I'll just show you. We have the Basic Witch Palette, which the name. And this is what it looks like. It's a little grungy. We got a little bit of a mustard, a green. It's not very spooky. Halloween because it's a witch palette but when you when you look at that and then you look at my lethal custom palette which I didn't even know that I did to be wholesale honest with you we're not going to talk about it but out of that whole stack the only one that I really want to use I want to use this on my birthday I have been saying that for like three months but because I've never used this palette and my birthday is in October, so, like, this is the one I want to use in my birthday. So that's going in the to-use stack. So the rest of these can be put up as well. But that is my palettes that I think are perfect for fall and spooky season, because all one of the same. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this gave you some inspiration. Pull these palettes out. Get some use on them this season. Um, again, get some use on any of your palettes. You don't have to be specific to these color stories, these palettes, these kinds of palettes, anything like that this season. I'm not one of those people either. I'm going to be wearing looks like this all year round. I am not specific to any color story, anything, any time of year, but I think this is fun to just look at, hey, it's this season. What are, what are the colors that we're looking at? So what are your favorite fall-timed palettes? What are your favorite spooky season palettes? That's what I really want to know. Leave all your questions, comments, concerns, anything of the like in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.